Comedian slash 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 slash. He, he once played the part of Slash in Guns N' Roses. His name is Adam Zwa. Adam, would you like to spin the wonderful wheel? Or do you just want to talk about love? Well, he's spinning it. He's spinning. Death. Death. Although the wheel did suddenly stop, pointing <laughs> southwards to death. Yeah. I'm just down, 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 down. And have a look. Death. Death. Yeah. So, are you afraid of dying? Yeah. Yeah, I've got no kind of... Uh, I haven't come to terms with that at all. And is it something that um, you put much thought to or is it something you choose to ignore? No, I think about it every day. Seriously? Yeah, yeah I do. <laughs> what, what aspect of it? That it's all going to end or you're going to go somewhere else? I wasn't else? so off the mark with that whole Woody Allen thing. <laughs> <laughs> it consumes me. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it's every day I, th I think about the actual, you know, the, the process and the pain and then what happens and, you know... I said, do you really think about that every day? Yeah, I do. I That's do. full on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's st you're still having, you're still afraid of it. You're still terrified of it. Yeah, I've, I've got no kind of, um, I don't know, no, no kind of uh, awareness about, um, I don't know, those people who I've, I found no peace. Yeah. Yeah. So do, do you have an idea where you might go? Is that part of the problem? <laughs> Look, I, <laughs> that might be part of the problem, yeah. No, I, I think it's a pretty um, common dilemma. Is anyone else afraid of death out there? And the mercy seat is waiting, oh, okay. and I think my head is burning. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One of my parents has died, and I've, you know, I've dealt with it. I, I've, I've, you know, become an adult. In, in that, in those terms, but um. So, was with one of your parents passing? Did you see that as a, a maturing, growing, state yeah. part of your life? Yeah, I did. Right. Yeah, I did. It was um, yeah, it was very, it was very sad. But at the same time, I, I mean, but at the same time, nothing. No, it was very sad. And uh, now looking back on it, yeah, it was a definite growth period. And and uh, I always think of that that quote in um. I uh, look back in anger where, where he says, oh, you've never lived, you, you know, you, if you haven't actually held someone's hand as they're dying, you're suffering from a pretty bad case of virginity. And, <laughs> and I thought, I used to think that was a really cool line, but now I think of, think of it in, in terms of, there's a lot more pathos in that line now. I've, I've mm. kind of gone through it. So were you part of the dying process with your parent? Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. So, um... Uh, although I think I was out of the room when it happened, so right. yeah, so I feel a bit bad about that. Oh, and and yeah. it hasn't helped you deal with your own idea of dying yourself? <laughs> no, no, it hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still terrified. <laughs> now, do you remember your first sexual experience? Yeah, I do. And was it what you imagined? <laughs> no, because um, bizarrely enough, I, I'd had no. Uh, I'd had no masturbatory experiences. Right. Are you serious? He's not telling the no, no, truth, no. is he? I had it. So I went to boarding school and, and it was just impossible to, you know, to, to do To have it. a spare five minutes. Yeah, that's right. And also I was so looked down upon. If you did that at boarding school, you were just ostracised. Yeah, right. I can't tell you that people's careers were over, you know. Wow. Um, and they had this thing called the wanking police at, at boarding school where they, um, so you'd just be on the toilet and periodically you'd have people coming up over the divide and just checking to see whether you're wanking or not. That is bizarre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you'd think there'd be some kind of quiet complicitness between you all that you needed to have a go. No, I, I think you're completely right, yeah. But at the time there was this, it was Queensland, it was in the late 80s, right in the middle of the Fitzgerald Inquiry and a whole lot of <laughs> weird... Politically, yeah, that, it wasn't good for anyone. I know, that's, no. a, that's a particular kind of inquiry, though. I didn't realise the Fitzgerald Inquiry was inquiring over the Far doors reaching of toilets. Powers. Now, have you come up with love and death after we've discussed wanking? Has that brought up anything? Um, <laughs> only in the fact that I've, I've loved a lot of people who have died. Um... Uh, so I'm assuming that, that you do have a great, I think you do have a full understanding of love, perhaps in those last few, those last few moments. Um, and until then we actually struggle to grasp what it, what it is and, and all the adjectives in the world won't, 
won't really help. Before you go, because as the French say that the orgasm is the little death, so you're going to enjoy love and death at the same moment, because what we do here, folks, on Love TV is we have the money shot, which is the face you make when you're having an orgasm. And you and Casey are going to get zwas there tonight by counting from 10 to 1 and your sexiest voice isn't at 1. Adam's going to give it up to you, baby. Now, I haven't told you about this. Are you all right with that? Yep, let's okay. go. Cool. Re ready, Casey? <laughs> I think you do have a full understanding of love, perhaps in those last few moments. And until then, we actually struggle to grasp what it, what it is.